Hey guys, it's your girl Shan Holly 89. I know it's been a while since I did a WWE Superstar Spotlight video, but with the um, news on the latest inductee into the 2014 WWE Hall of Fame, I figured, why the hell not? She is a four-time women's champion. She is the queen of extreme, Lita. So, oh my gosh, what can I say about Lita? Amazing, um, one of, if not the best divas of all time. Just an amazing, like I said, amazing. Uh, in the words of TLC, she was crazy, sexy, cool. <laughs> so definitely, um, she had the, you know, she didn't look like, I liked her, because um, I love Trish Stratus, but I liked Lita more than Trish because Lita didn't look like, a Pam Anderson wannabe. That's how Trish looked when she first came in. I was like, oh my gosh, she looked like Pam Anderson. Um, uh, and, uh, Pam Anderson imitator. And I thought Lita was cool because this girl was like wearing like baggy pants, even though she had her thong showing, which um, my mom did not like. She was like, why is she got her thong showing? That's just so, she's like, that's so tacky looking. And I said, well, I said, it's cool. I said I never tried to imitate that part, but I did wear like the like cargo pants. I remember um, going to the mall with my mom one time, and I saw a, a shirt that I got a shirt that was similar to Lita's shirt that she um, wore, and I was like, I'm gonna wear that. So would wear that because um, Lita would wear like the um, she would wear like the uh, what they call it wife beaters or something. Like she would wear those sometimes. She would wear the um she would uh wear the see-through shirts which never wore the see-through shirts but uh she would wear the like uh meshy shirts um so like that she would wear those and I just would take I would get the uh cargo pants I remember my mom got me some cargo pants and I was like you couldn't tell me I didn't look good I walked around thinking I looked good and I also at the time I liked the Spice Girls so I would wear the big like clunky like little tennis shoes kind of like um I don't know where they are but I was gonna show you uh the shoes I would wear uh like these bit like um kind of how they're out nowadays like those high top um wedge um shoes I have a pair um and that's what I wore back then I wore those like big not too too big but kind of big clunky shoes <laughs> so definitely was wearing those and definitely took um not only my look from the Spice Girls but I took it from Lita and I took um a look from uh, uh Aaliyah um the singer Aaliyah um may she rest in peace girl um I would take my um look from Aaliyah um the singer and just um you can tell me I didn't look good I had the swoop bang and I had the you know I had the, uh, cause then my hair was much longer. So I would have the swoop bang. Couldn't get my hair, um, colored. Uh, I still don't, um, color my hair. Um, I do the, uh, rinse. So when I got to high school, I like begged my mother. I said, I want a red rinse. So I got a red rinse like Lita. It was so pretty. Oh my gosh. I wish I had a picture I could show you guys of my, um, hair. So definitely I, you couldn't tell me I didn't look good. So in high school, definitely, I definitely took a lot of my hair from not only Aaliyah, but Lita as well. So, definitely. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a red rinse again um, someday. So, we'll see how that works out. But, yeah. Um, just a, Like I said, Lita was just an amazing diva. She was um, fantastic. Uh, so how WWE Superstar Spotlight works is that I give you my first impression of Lita, um, what I think of her in-ring ability, uh, what do I think, what kind of person do I think she is outside of the ring, because I never met her, I'm, she is definitely one of those people I want to meet, <laughs> um, and, uh, what is her, um, legacy going to be or is. Okay. First impression of Lita, I saw her um, match with Dean Malenko, and I was like, wow, she's pretty good. You know, didn't think much of it at the time. 
And then I saw her match with Trish Stratus. Um, it was like an extreme match. I'm, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I saw her, you know, doing the match with her. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And I saw, Tr I think it was like a tables match. Or tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm not sure. But it was she, I remember Trish pushing her through the table. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this girl is probably dead. I hope she's okay. Uh, I was just like, oh my gosh, because she fell through that table. I was like, oh my gosh, if you know, you know the chance when they say, holy, you know, that's basically how I, uh, uh, how I was when I saw that. So this girl was just jumping, doing cross bodies off of every, the top rope, um, did a moonsault. She would do her karanas and just amazing in ring style, um, which is my next point. Her in ring ability. What I think of her in ring ability, I think it was amazing. Um, she, I don't think it has ever been duplicated. I have not seen a diva duplicate that style. So it hasn't been duplicated. Leah was definitely one of a kind. Um, she, I know she was a, um, she's a fan of Lucha Libre. Um, definitely, I would definitely cite her as one of the reasons I kind of got into Lucha Libre because I love Lucha Libre. So I am definitely starting to get into it a lot more. Um, uh, I'm watching, um, AAA of shows and when AAA comes to America, which I cannot wait. Uh, so definitely Lucha Libre. I'm definitely starting to get into and I, I have Lita to thank for that so thank you Lita <laughs> um uh because I like I said I am a Ray um like I said in my um first WWE Superstar Spotlight video I am a Ray Mysterio fan he definitely did get me into Lucha Libre a lot more but Lita um definitely like put the spark when I read her book she definitely put the spark into me to really learn it because she's an American and she said going to Mexico was an experience, a wonderful experience. She wanted to immerse herself in the culture, which I thought was so cool. I said, wow, you're willing to immerse yourself into the culture. She tried to learn Spanish. I think she, she does know Spanish, um, but uh, she um, um, tried to learn the language which a lot of us, we go over, go over to other countries. We don't even bother to try to learn the language. To me, if I'm going to go to another country, I'm going to try to learn the language. But she immersed herself in the culture, and she really, really got into um, Lucha Libre, right? and she loves Lucha Libre, right? and it shows um, with her um, in-ring style. It really showed um, with her in-ring style. So definitely one of those. Um, I haven't seen that duplicated in a diva since. Naomi, though, kind of, sort of, I kind of see flashes of it with Naomi, but they really need to work on that, work on, Naomi really needs to, like, work on it, work on it, but she has natural talent, I will say that, uh, Lita had natural talent as well, so definitely, I'm looking to Naomi as somebody who has natural talent, naturally athletic, and that was what Lita was, um, naturally, um, athletic, so, okay, uh, what do I think of her outside of the ring? She seems like a nice person. I haven't heard a bad thing about her. She seems really cool. You know, to me, it's like I don't let dirt sheets. To me, it's like I want to meet you for myself. If you're a dick to me, I will say you're a dick to me. You're like if she was mean, if I met her and she was mean to me, I would tell you straight up she was mean. But I don't think she will be. I think she's very nice. I think she's very, um, you know, respectful i haven't heard any bad things about her um i've heard bad things about other uh, another diva um but not about lita or trish never heard a bad thing about trish as well so lita definitely she seems like a cool person definitely want to meet her someday so hopefully i'll get the chance someday to meet her um her legacy her legacy is just gonna be a her legacy is going to be somebody um, that took risk, that didn't let her gender hold her back just because she was, you know, people told her that she couldn't do it. She proved them wrong. And now she's going to be in inducted into the um, WWE Hall of Fame. So take that, suckers. <laughs> you know, um, 
it's one of those things where you know, she's one of those people where her legacy is just going to be, it's not just going to be, it is going to be um, someone who took risk, um, wasn't afraid to buck the system, and she was amazing. Just, there's not much more I could say that hasn't already been said about Leah. She just, she is who the divas of today should definitely look to because she had the charisma. She had the, um, to me, when I saw Leah, I was like, okay, she didn't have, she didn't look like every other girl. She was her own person, which I love. So she had the look, she had the style, you know, that I loved. Um, she had her own look, her own style. She was unique. So definitely her legacy will be she was one of the most unique divas of all time, if not the most unique diva. Um, she wasn't afraid to take risk, and hey, it paid off because now she's in the Hall of Fame. So what more can you say on that? So with, with that being said, I will see you guys on Friday. Bye-bye.